Hey, 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 I'm back. Um, actually, I want to quickly change something. That could fucking change to something that I'm never going to hit. No, not all. Just that is what I want it to be. Thank you very much. Because I'm not accidentally clicking quick load. I'll do my head in. When I start recording, I uh, just get taken by goblins out front. Anyway, let's keep going. Here come the remotes. Oh yeah, training remotes. Whoa, shit. Where are they? I can't see them. Oh, I see one. I can't hit it though. I think they can actually hurt you, to be honest. Well, hey. Whoa. How did that not destroy it? That was incredible. Done! Nice work, Rush. Oh, come on, this is taking a piss now. Die! Oh, it makes me look really bad. In front of you did well too, Jaden. Your lightsaber is an invaluable tool. Even when inactive, it can diffuse a potentially volatile situation. Trust me on that. As you train, you'll learn additional fighting styles. Changing styles during combat can surprise your opponent, allowing you to gain the upper hand. From here on out, we'll talk via comlink in each area. Let's move on. Because you're too lazy to move. I reckon the reason Rosh finished before me in that challenge is because he had one remote and I had like 500. And he was just like, finished. I'm like the best. Okay, Jaden. I don't you need to use the force to jump across the ravine. It shouldn't be a problem. If you fall, jump back up to the bridge and try again. I don't get this right. You're supposed to go over it and just jump over there. But if you look over it, there's two of those howler things. But I don't really understand why, because you don't have to fight him or anything. There's nothing over there. Let's just jump over and you're done. Oh, this is cool though. Let's do some. You'll have to use push to get out of here Wait, and into it? the next area. Oh, that's shit. Hey Jaden, this should keep you busy till I finish the course. How does he know what that button's gonna do? That button could do absolutely anything. And how is it fair that I'm going through an actually different course to it? I know it's just supposed to be training, but it doesn't feel like it. Moonwalking robot, apparently. Oh yeah, I'm not going to bullshit around, I'm actually going to fight him. Whoa! Oh, I took his head off! Get out of there, fool. You ain't got anything on me. Oh, I'm taking his legs off, that's cool. I want to take his head as a trophy. Oh, it's gone. I guess I picked it up. Doing quite good at combat so far. I thought I'd be surprisingly shit at it. So I played in a while. What took you so long, Jaden? <sighs> nothing. You're sure? It was nothing. To get to the next area, you must pull a lever somewhere in the room. But you can't reach the lever with your hands. Remember to examine your environment carefully. When you're out on a mission, if you find a locked door, look for the guy in charge. He usually has a key. Cheers. If you find a life door, make sure you find a key. Cheers. Checkpoint! I'm running, I'm on the the solutions to problems aren't always obvious. Use your force sense to see if you can find a way out of the room. When I originally first played this game on the Xbox, I had n I didn't hear what he said first time, and I had no idea what the fuck I was supposed to do in that room at all. I was just stood there like, okay, I know I'm supposed to go up here, but I have absolutely no idea what I was doing. And I used sense, I saw the things on the wall, and I was like, what the fuck? Bearing in mind, I wasn't very old when I first played this game. Like, I wasn't like, oh yeah, obviously, just force push this, this, that, or whatever. So yeah, that is the reason why I was a bit stupid. Hey. It looks like you can go down there, but I have a feeling the game's not that intelligent, so I'm going to go down there and try it. Because it'll probably just lead to my death. And I want to see how far I can go before I do actually die. Oh, it is this way, okay. You're almost done. You'll You're need to move almost? fast in this next area. You can use the force to speed up both physically and mentally, allowing you more time to make decisions. Run and roll. Badass. 
Fuss. Speed is not the best thing. So, did I win? It wasn't a competition. I'm sorry, I... I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. Yeah, you little shit. It's no big deal. You said yourself this wasn't a competition. Hey, it was just a joke. I didn't think it would... If that droid was set to Luke's training regimen, it would have killed Jaden. Yeah, What right. were you thinking? Jaden, I'm so sorry. I, I can't believe I... I mean, I wasn't trying to... Save it, Rosh. Jaden, you have a right to be angry. Yeah, but yeah, believe me angry. when I say you don't want to feed that emotion. I understand, Master Katarn. Apology accepted, Rosh. Good, that's settled. And remember, it's Kyle? Yes, Matt, uh, Kyle. Sure thing, Kyle! Okay. You're both ready to start putting what you've learned to use. Let's see how you do in the real world. Get the fuck off me, bitch. Oh, the man of the minute. Luke Skywalker. Kyle, I did some research on that strange mark from the clothing we found at the temple. It is the symbol of Marco Ragnos, a Sith Lord that died almost 5,000 years ago. 5,000 years? Are you serious? Oh, wait. Of course you're serious. While you're out training your students, be on the lookout for information regarding a group affiliated with Ragnos. Sure thing, Luke. We receive countless requests for assistance from all over the galaxy. Since we believe in learning by doing at the Academy, Students of all levels help with these requests. Since you're an initiate, however, Kyle will travel with you on most of your missions in order to instruct you and ensure your safety. Cool. Um, there's like 15 missions in total, maybe, I think. Uh, but you, you can only do four before skipping on to like the next main quest mission or main storyline mission. But you can do five and then you can level up a bit more. Usually I just do four, but I think I will try and go for all five. Um, I will start with an easy one. Officials from the planet Akura have requested our assistance. An unknown party has taken control of a power station in the mountains. They sent the team to investigate there. Oh wait, that's not the one I want to Oh, this is what I want. The Academy has received a distress call from a merchant ship that has crashed on the planet Blengeel. That sounds like some sort of uh, disease. They were pulled out of the high... Uh, high they were pulled out of hyperspace when they crossed paths with the... What the hell? Oh, right, okay. Not wanting their presence home. Fired on the merchant ship. The merchants managed to make it to the planet's surface and call for help. As far as we know, the planet is uninhabited. Hmm. This should be an easy assignment. I think you can handle it while Kyle is away with Rush. Take a shuttle, land at the coordinates of the distress beacon, and pick up any survivors. How hard can it be? Yeah, okay, so these are just your basic... Um, Things that you just have, like defense, speed, blah, 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 whatever. They just level up as you get further into the game. Uh, and then you get your selection, force protection, mind trick, force heal, and force absorption. Force heal is the most important one, in my opinion. Force drain, force grip, force lightning, and force rage if you want to be dark side. And there's light side, obviously. Uh, I always go for force heal first, and I usually go force protection. Mind trick I never use, and whatever the hell that one was, I never use either. Absorption. Uh, after I get them maxed, usually maybe Force Lightning or something, I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, you know you get an actual selection of weapons. I think you have to take these two. And then you get a choice of these. Um, I feel like I need to sneeze. <coughs> I do indeed need to sneeze, because I just did. Uh, what do I want? I think I want that. That's what I usually go for. I think trip mines are better than thermal detonators, to be honest, I think. I think they're easier to use. So let's go for that. Bloody carrying an arsenal with me. Here I come.
that they landed. Nice work, Jaden. Some rescue mission. Hello? Hello? Hey, you there! Thank the force you've come. This place is... Uh. Oh. <laughs> What was that? Maybe I can find what I need in the merchant ship. This level is... It's easy, but at the same time, it's so scary. Because that noise just follows me. Yeah, basically, you can't see what's chasing you. Should be safe here. Ah, oh, this power converter should do. You can only carry, like, one, um... ...item at a time, so you have to keep going back and forth to your ship. I think it's the easiest mission to start off on, because it's nice and quick to complete. Oh, just give me a checkpoint out. Annoying as that. Oh. Oh. It just gives you such dread this level. It's really creepy. Go, 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 go. How am I going to get over there? Oh, oh yeah, bro. Let's do a bit of jumpy action. This energy cell should work for the cooling unit. Oh, these go down. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, 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 no. You may think that, oh, maybe you can just, like, force speed away pretty easily, then outrun it. Um, you can't. Like, it, it just appears under you sometimes. I think it's quite strange for it. Whoa! Shit. See, if I just ran straight out there, I'd be dead. Oh my god! It's horrible! This level is not fun actually. But it's just a nice level to do because that gives you level 1 uh, force heal straight away, which is pretty sweet. It makes the rest of the game really easy. Uh, apparently, you can actually kill the sand crawler or whatever the fuck it's called. The sand crawler is a jab. Sound or whatever. It's yeah, supposedly. It Whoa, shit. Wait. Oh, I've missed a big fucking I don't think they can get you on the dark sand. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, well, this damper should be compatible with my hyperdrive motivator. It's good to know. I've Fuck got to get over there. I think he says that when you're there. Maybe. I'm actually confused as to where the last one is. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh, just stop my horse. Oh, come on, come 
come on, come on, come on, come on. God. Sorry, I'm making a lot of weird noises, I don't know where. Just gonna do this without dying. It's it's, it's 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 a loud as shit. If you get caught you're dead. It's just it's it's a bit of and the annoying thing is, you think you save here? Ah, it's just a little run. They can get you in that bit there. It's so annoying. I don't want to die so close, so I'm going to save it here. And just hope that he doesn't jump out. I think I've just got that to go. So I will do this. I'll finish this level. Oh, hello. I'll finish this mission. Oh god, run, 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 run. Whoa! Oh yeah. I think I might. I guess maybe you are supposed to I don't think I ever have before though. Oh shit. Okay. Quickly save. Quickly do a bit of full speed. Just the power coupling I need for the acceleration compensator. Shit jump. Go, 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 go. Yeah, boy. Wait, have I got something else? No, to get? that should do it. Now to get off this crazy rock. That's crazy rock. Rock them something. That's too bad about the merchants. Sounds like those sand burrowers must have gotten them all. Nasty critters. Glad you got back safe and sound. We'll let Coruscant know to mark the planet as hazardous. The game seems to be jumping a little bit. I'll stop recording and uh, try and figure out what was going on. Uh, I'll see you next time.